What is up, everyone? Um, maybe you heard it, maybe you didn't, but just recently I published a podcast about letting go and grieving uh, the more ambiguous loss in life, more specifically grieving and letting go of unmet expectations and unfulfilled dreams. Uh, what I wanted to do with, it, with this podcast is really kind of highlight this last season of my life and kind of what I've been working through when it comes to really honoring and grieving and letting go of these expectations that I had around um, what I thought my life would look like when I made the move to Los Angeles. Anyways, I would love for you to listen to that episode and to see uh, if you can relate to anything that I said. But the point of this video uh, is because at the end of this episode, I just really felt like I wanted to read um, one of my all-time favorite blessings by John O'Donoghue, uh, and it's called A Blessing for One Who Is Exhausted. I know uh, life is hard, it's challenging, it's, uh, it's full of disappointment, it's full of heartbreak, and uh, really it's full of you know the loss that comes with unmet expectations and unfulfilled dreams. And so I just really wanted to read this blessing in case any of you are in the thick of it right now. I do, I sincerely do hope and trust that it blesses you as much as it does me. When the rhythm of the heart becomes hectic, time takes on the strain until it breaks, then all of the unattended stress falls in on the mind like endless increasing weight. The light in the mind becomes dim. Things you could take in stride before now become laborsome events of will. Weariness invades your spirit. Gravity begins falling inside of you, dragging down every bone. The tide you never valued has now gone out and you are left on unsure ground. Something within you has closed down. And you cannot push yourself back to life. You have been forced to enter empty time. The desire that drove you has now relinquished. There is nothing else to do but rest and patiently, patiently learn to receive the self you have forsaken in the rush of days. At first your thinking will darken and sadness will take over like listless weather. The flow of unwept teach will frighten you. You have traveled too fast over false ground. Now your soul has come to take you back. Take refuge in your senses. Open up to all of the small miracles you rushed through. Become inclined to watch the way of rain when it falls slow and free. Imitate the habit of twilight, taking time to open the well of color that fostered the brightness of day. Draw alongside the silence of stone until its calmness can claim you. Be excessively gentle with yourself and stay clear of those vexed in spirit. Learn to linger around someone of ease who feels they have all the time in the world. Gradually, you will return to yourself, having learned a new respect for your heart and the joy that dwells far within slow time. Mm -hmm.